All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Bryce, or KO Junior 55 and in this video, I'm gonna tell you a few simple tips and tricks to combat in Genshin Impact. You can also apply some of these to like just general exploration, but for the most part, these are gonna to stick to combat and things surrounding combat. Uh, I'm going into this expecting a lot of the people to watch it to have come from games like Ark Knights and Honkai Impact. So if you're a player of like generally action RPGs or things like World of Warcraft and League of Legends, these may seem like common sense, but towards the end, there's a few that relate just to this game, so they could help you too. So uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about, in my opinion, is super simple, but it's also extremely important. If you've played other games like League of Legends or ARPGs, like I said in the intro, then you know this term. But for people who are new to this style of game, coming from Gotcha Game, just learn to kite as early as possible. I cannot begin to explain to you how clutch kiting mobs is in this game and how kiting allows you to just fight mobs that are much higher level than your team is and can just be generally useful for almost every aspect of the game, specifically things like hillichurl guards and ruin guards, but like I said, this can just be used at almost any juncture in the game. If you're personally not familiar with what kiting is, basically you just use like a ranged character at its simplest form, something like Fenty or Amber, and you just hit melee enemies and then run away and you just try to stay out of their like auto attack range like where they can swing their hammer and you just keep hitting them and dashing back hitting them and dashing back and your goal is to stay in an area where they can't hit you but you can also hit them you can also do this with melee characters if you just dash in auto a few times and dash out but it doesn't work as well it's not as easy and range characters are super preferred for this technique Keep in mind you'll also have to dodge attacks from the guards or like ranged attacks from the ruined guards specifically, but most of the big mobs in this game, if they're not using an ability, will just walk directly at you. So kiting is more or less essential for the gameplay, and honestly it's essential in any game where kiting is available and it would be huge for you to learn. It would up your gameplay so much. If you're having any trouble with this technique, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments. I can help explain more so how to kite, and if you need any help with anything generally in this game, just reach out to me in the comments and I'll do my best to reply. But with that being said, let's get into the second part. So the second tip I have for you is super simple and it kind of ties into the last one. I'm not going to try to dwell on it too long because like I said, it is super simple and there's not really a lot to talk about with it, but I would just recommend taking out the smaller mobs in packs before focusing down the bigger mobs in packs. Uh, an example of this is like just taking out the little archers and the guys with the clubs before taking on the helicor guards and their shields. Like I said, this sounds like a super simple concept, but the Hillichurl guards and the Ruin guards just get super trivial if you take out all the adds first. It just makes it much easier to kite them and just generally makes the game a lot easier if you go in this order. Specifically, this would really help you if you're a free-to-play player trying to kill out a harder pack to get that last exquisite chest or luxurious chest, just trying to get there for some more XP. It would really help like free-to-play players specifically to clear mobs in this order. Specifically when I'm going into a pack of enemies I try my best to take out the smaller ranged enemies first and then I go to the smaller helic girls and slimes that have their little Maces and stuff and then I go into the bigger enemies once you clear all these small enemies It just makes whatever big boy of the pack whether it be like one of the thief guys or the helic girls Or even like the electro and Cairo guys later It just makes them super trivial and super kiteable and it just makes the game generally a lot easier to do it in this order Like I said, I don't want to stick on this too long. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the third tip this one is a little more complex but I feel like it is an integral part of Genshin's combat. What I want to recommend with this tip is to specifically pay attention to how each of your elemental attacks act when mixed with other attacks in your party. There's a lot of interactions, the elemental interactions in this game that do a lot of damage and you can use these to do insane DPS that's more DPS than you should be doing at your level and it's definitely something to look into. For instance, one of the big combos I use on my team specifically includes Venti's ult where I pop that sucker right in the middle of a pack, suck everyone into it, and then hit that sucker with Pyro. It adds a swirl damage on top of Venti's already dot just to do insane damage and just takes out mobs so fast. So looking into these elemental reactions I would recommend heavily. It would just help your combat so much to have some cool combos to do and it would be super cool to have some cool combos to do in your team. So just look into this a little bit, find whatever mix works for you and abuse it to its max potential. I'm pretty sure free to play players can do this too. I'm pretty sure you can do this with whatever team you have available. So just find what works for you and this will do so much for your progress in the game. And even further past this, you can look into what they specifically do and build around your team. If you're heavy 
physical damage team, you can go into Superconductor, which is Cryo Post Electrical, which deals an AoE cryo damage and lowers the target's physical resistance by 50%. If you just want that bat AoE damage, you go for Overloaded, which is Electro and Pyro. If you're like me and you like Swirl, you just go for Aerial and literally anything else. I'll link in the description a website to what can help with this, just so you can look at every elemental reaction to see which one works best for the team that you have. So the last thing I want to talk about is not really a combat tip, but it's a general tip for team building that will help you with combat, so I wanted to put it in this video. What we're going to be referring to in this is going to be something called your team's elemental resonance. So the elemental resonance of your team is like a passive buff that you get based on its internal makeup. So for instance, if you have two pyros, you get a buff called Feverent Flames. Uh, this increases your attack by 25% and makes you affected by cryo for 40% less time. You also have things like Soothing Waters, where if you have two hydro characters, you get more healing, or things like Enduring Rock, where it increases your resistance to interruption, and there's just a lot of resonance to look at. These all apply to duos, so it's going to be like two Geo, two Pyro, two Hydro, so just look at which ones best fit your place out and try to build around that. Once again, I'll put a link in the description to a page that'll show you both the elemental reactions and the elemental resonance so that you can plan to build your team the best way for you. The last thing I'm going to say, try your best not to focus on min-maxing. This is a full JRPG put in a gotcha game, so once you get to the end of the JRPG, the game goes to a resin system that's kind of horrible. I'm going to make a video on the resin system, probably, maybe not, but it's everywhere. You can look into it and see what it does, so just try to enjoy the game as long as you can. I hope these tips helped you in some way, and like I said at the start, I know these are super simple, but if you didn't pay attention to these things before, these tips will help your gameplay drastically. As always, I'm Bryce or KO Junior 55 If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm always open to answer, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next one.